Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. I uh, got some low wind days, so I figured I'd come on out. I'm uh, filming, or I just finished filming a little bit of info for the All About the Bait product testers for the month of May, giving around, giving out the uh, D-Hooker 5000. So got some footage of that. And uh, otherwise, I am going to go and check to see if there's any tarpon around, since I haven't done that in a while, at least the big tarpon. So we're out here at Shark Channel Outlet. I'm actually wanting to catch some uh, blue crabs. So I'm gonna clear out my freezer, get rid of a big tuna head and see if I could uh, pick up some big uh, blue crabs to drift around. Uh, current is going the wrong direction this evening. It's gonna be an incoming all evening, so which is not good, but uh, I still tend to do okay because I could just basically lay a bait out and it just sits there like a lake and uh, just wait for any tarpon to come cruising by. Unfortunately, it's generally a real late right at the sunset, magic hour bite only, but what you gonna do? So anyways, that's the plan. All right, I wanna put out this old tuna carcass that I've been sitting in my freezer, clear some room in there. I've been using just a little piece of shrimp for catching the uh, small blue crabs on the flats, but I like to use uh, some regular bigger ones to see if I can get some of these uh, late season tarp into bite in the afternoon. So put this guy out and see if that'll attract them. Well, we've got our first victim, not very big, dark dude. Can't tell. Yeah, that's the right species. Just dark colored. Ooh, he's scared, nervous. A little bit on the small side, but it'll probably still work. Where are you going, buddy? You might be running off. I wonder if that's a stone crab. Did I get ya? Did I get ya? Yeah, I got ya. Crabby number one. Right there. So he'll do. Just dark, but that'll work. Well, here comes a stupid shark. Gonna try to take my bait. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Yep, there it is again. Get back. Get back. Ah, there's, we've got a good one. That is just about right. Let him start munching there. He's gonna be like, oh yeah, jackpot. Jackpot. Actually, I'll let him eat for a little while. I think it gives off some oils and maybe the sound and it starts attracting other ones. He's going for it. But I don't want to give it too long before he like gets full and then takes off all of a sudden. All right, we're gonna scoop him up real quick here. Gotcha, perfecto. Yeah. Oh, Spidey Man crab. That is excellent size there. Man, that dude's a crawler. So that is that is the optimum for me and the, the tarpon, so size crab. Make sure we don't lose him. There we go. Nice, got our two. Maybe pick one more just in case because the other one's kind of small. And then uh, we could commence to fishing. Ah, sea monster. Dang manatee. hanging out in my fishing spot. Now the tide is slowly starting to come in so it's reversed backwards because I always want to have water flowing out which is flushing food. But this is definitely a evening feeding spot. So regardless of the current, there are generally, if there's any tarpon around, they'll be in here. 
Um, I'm sure enough here because I'm seeing if you see all that kind of nervous water there there's a couple of schools of bait that were sitting along these edges and running out and coming back in so it's activity but then if I start seeing tarpon rolling in a certain area whether it be at the outlet or the other side or up then I'll make a move but for now I'm just going to put out a couple of baits and just see what happens so I see a school of bait right here school of bait right here and then way out there I see another school just kind of just swimming around the spread I'm going to be putting out is two baits, one pinfish, and uh, one blue crab. So I'm going to see how the current's running and with the wind. The blue crab, the pinfish I'm going to have more out to wherever it goes. The blue crab I'm going to have a little bit closer to this edge here uh, because that's tend to be where the bait would get flushed off, especially the blue crabs. And a lot of times the, the tarpon will run right along the edge. So we'll see where this thing lays up and then I'll put the second bait out. Just when I cast it there, I saw a tarpon roll right over there, just to the right of where my bobber is. So eh, somewhere out there will be good. And I'll rig up that crab and throw it out. Oh, now the tarpon rolled way up to see him. There he goes. Uh, the other good thing about it is it's still kind of early before the uh, magic hour. And if I just kept running pinfish out here, sharks, kudas would just be cutting me off, cutting me off. But I put one crab out there. Really the only thing that's going to eat it is the tarpon or permit. And that's half my baits. And then even if they just start whacking the one, I won't use up as many baits as uh, if I was using two pinfish. So let me get the other one rigged up. All right. Got the crab rigged up on the second one. I left one of the claws on. That'll keep him clacking. There's bait swarming all over the place over here. So I think I'm gonna drift it from that way and it's just slowly running across here. Not too far off the edge. That should be good. And we'll just keep running it across here unless I start seeing some tarpon rolling. Opens. Oh no. It's gonna snag up my line. Oh, don't snag up my lines. You snagged up my lines. Ah, oh, yeah, dang. Let it go. Oh no, just causing a mess. Oh, I could just see it. That ain't gonna clear it, nothing will. <laughs> Good jump. Ah, don't be a big mess. No, no, no. Well, we are in the magic hour. Looking kind of quiet. Occasionally I'll see one roll here or there, but not very much action, but we'll see what happens here. Ooh, just had a big blow up right there. What happened? Did he take it too? Golly, just a big blow up. All right, we got one on. I have a feeling that one's going to get hit real quick here. Yeah, baby. Oh, not happy. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, oh. Got to watch out for those quick jumpers. Come on up. Magic hour tarpon never fails. Well, not always, but. <laughs> He's stand down. Come on, baby.
it's gonna drag the anchor. I see you. Uh, this is not gonna be good here. Um, I need to get this anchor up, I think. Oh no, it's sucked under. Oh! Got to focus. Watch my other line. Get this in. All right. Now we can play a little better. Don't jump. Trying to stay down. Come on up, jump. <laughs> Saw that coming. Did the submarine jump. Lines at. <laughs> oh, there it is. I am on my line making a sweater. There it goes. Oh! Just getting more and more tangled. Well, I think that's gonna be the end of our day because we're never getting this untangled. Nice hook set. <sighs> Relax, relax, relax. Good boy. Oh, that was easy, quick and easy. All right, get you off of my line. There we go. Ah! All right, well, he made it. Oh, vey. Now we gotta unknot this sweater we just made. Great. Oh no, look at that. Alrighty, well I'm happy got my tarp in, even on the wrong tide and so forth, but uh, just knowing that magic hour, keep putting that bait in front of their face and eventually one's gonna hit. So I had a couple bites and got lucky on that last one, got a good hook set, so. Still got a good chunk of uh, magic hour left, so I'm just gonna slow troll it back towards the launch. I've got the one bait uh, still rigged up out there and we'll see what happens. But uh, otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.